We're joined now by ASCE's president-elect, Bev Watford. Bev, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, Bev, congratulations. You're the incoming president. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Yep, it is. So, what are your priorities for the year ahead? Um, what's interesting is my priorities really, because I've been on the board so long, my priorities really align with what the board and members would like to see done within ASCE. So, um, I've always had a focus on diversity, on increasing the, the participation of underrepresented groups within not just ASCE, but the engineering profession, engineering education. Um, that is fed by the P12 effort. We just had our, our year of action on P12. We had some great outreach activities that took place here. Uh, so I think that that's, that's also important to me because that's where we're growing the next generation of engineers. I'd also like to see um, more member involvement in the organization itself. Uh, ASEE has been really good to me in terms of uh, being a professional society where I had the opportunity to pursue leadership um, positions within the Women in Engineering Division, within the Minorities in Engineering Division, and those, those positions at the divisional level actually helped me move up to the board level. I'd like to see more people be actively engaged in leadership opportunities that we have in ASCE. Sure, now you are the first female African-American president of ASCE, that's exciting. Yes. Major yes. accomplishment. I, yeah. So okay. what do you think the significance of that is regarding diversity in the bigger picture of engineering education? Um, I think what it does is it shows everyone, um, particularly people that look like me, uh, that the opportunities are there that you just basically have to work through them in terms of taking advantage of things that happen, uh, meeting people, getting to know individuals, and getting involved. Um, it really, it, it, I never would have guessed that I would become president of this organization. That was not, that was not my goal 25 years ago when I joined, but um, it has been, it seems like a natural progression up through, and it was actually really gratifying to, to run in the election and to win the election. Um, I'm looking forward to, to the year. Now we've talked about some successes, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about some challenges. What do you think are the biggest challenges that oh. engineering educators face right now? Budget cuts. I, d I have yet to meet any faculty member, any dean, department head, who basically said they had enough money to do what they needed to do to, to properly educate our students. Um, state budget cuts are coming. We're looking at potential cuts in research funding, which again will impact uh, the overhead that's returned to departments, enabling them to do things for students. So I really think the financial aspects right now are, are critical. We obviously need to uh, enhance our image as engineers, and I don't mean that we have a bad image, but we have a small image compared to some of the, the, the more well-known professions, the, medic, the medical doctors and the lawyers. Um, so we, we, we still need to enhance our presence, um, make people understand that we are responsible for the next generation that's going to solve all the problems that they're dealing with right now. Congratulations on your win, Bev, and Thank we look you. forward to seeing you succeed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.